Hi, my name is Sky Townsend, and you are watching Baller Alert. Period. Now, Sky, now you've spoken about your father's impact in an interview last year with Distractify and his encouraging words. Now that you're solidifying yourself in your career, making your own lane, has there been discussions at some point sharing the screen with him at one point? I would love to share the screen with my dad. I I mean, a lot of people don't know this. This is my best friend. We spend almost every day together. And uh, I just, I respect the game so much because of him. Yeah. So it just has to be the right project. But, uh, you know, he, he trying to compete with me. So, you know, he better keep it cute. But, uh, uh, no, I just, I look at him. And, I mean, he is, is black legacy and greatness personified. And so, for me, it's like, all right, well, whatever we do together just has to be great. Does he watch a black lady sketch show? And what are some of his thoughts? He watches with me, okay. and uh, he's always giving me the real, okay? Uh, so he'll be like, you know what? I can see you pushed hard here. I can see you were holding back here. Tighten up here. I'm like, can you just laugh? Uh, but, uh, you know, he has he has been such a great inspiration because he keeps it real. So he'll tell me his favorite characters. He'll, he'll sometimes have me do the voice and be like, couldn't you have pushed further there? You see what you still had in you? And I'm like, what's one of his favorite characters, guys? He loves Marquita from the bank. Uh, I she's like her too. yeah. <laughs> she has like this sideways jaw, so he loves her. Um, Marquita and uh, uh, Amarion's wife. Oh yeah. Madonna. Yeah, Ladonna Delario. Yeah. I love yeah. 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 He loves her and her big lips. Yeah. Now, Ashley Nicole Black is one of the most recent players. That, you know, she had moved on of the series. How was it playing without her this season? And how did the three new additions fill in the void? Well, Ashley, you know, the greatest part about her was she's so witty, but she's a silent killer. Like, she always has a punchline that you have to listen for. So I would catch a lot of her humor and be like, that was really witty. Um, so I do miss that a lot. However, the new girls came in guns blazing and, and realized this is a really big opportunity and they didn't want to play with it. And so for me, it was really like, you know, I'm not the big sister. I guess I'm the little sister that been here, you know, before them. But I just wanted to help them with any questions they had because this is a really big production it is this is HBO so we are really uh, there's a lot on the line and so they came in willing to learn and willing to to kind of observe the formula and then dump jump right in so I, I just think they're all really special and all really different I mean all of them can sing uh, sing like sang sang Tamara was on the voice um, and just all of them like I said are open-minded so they're willing to, to take risks and that pays off because you take risks and then you discover new things and they're all talented they're on the carpet and they colors I'm in my black but they look good yeah <laughs> Speaking of taking risks now, there's a girl trip skit, okay? And as you know on Twitter, there's always discourse about girl trips gone wrong. So what is one do and one don't that you would say that people should follow if they're going on a girl's trip? Oh, I like this. This is a good... You better be a journalist. I know that's right. You asking me questions I ain't been asked before and stuff. Um, no, a do for a girl's trip, flexibility. You might have a whole, I'm a Virgo, I get it. You want to plan out the day from A to Z. If somebody changes their mind, I think being flexible and being spontaneous is important for a girl's trip. Also, um, being able to spot when you with a dangerous man because don't bring nobody back to the room. That's a don't. Yeah, that's, scary. that's a don't. Okay. Now what you do is this Bethlehem skit, okay? Now I love that skit and you know, my question for you is this. Hannah pays for water, which is free. Um, now, Sky, what's one thing in the world that you feel should be free? What in the deep? Um, education, uh, water, uh, food. Uh, I will get very passionate about this because I feel like, you know, we all really deserve a fair shot. And there's a lot of people who are just born into really tough situations. So there's a long list of this. Uh, we could chat about this. Yes. There's a lot of things we all deserve. And so sometimes, you know, I love comedy because sometimes I feel guilty for being so blessed. I was born and I never had to go to sleep hungry and I got to learn things in school and I had parents who were stable and loved me. And so it's like, we all deserve a fair chance. So uh, <laughs> the tons should be free. Okay. Final question is this. There's a lot of great guest stars this season. Is there a guest that you had on your vision board that did not come to play this season that you would love to have come play next season? Okay. <laughs> Do I, I want to be how, bad? I love how the nails are like just You know, am I about to get myself a man? Is that what we're doing here? Um, no. Um, yeah. Uh, let me let me ask for a good answer. Let's see. Zendaya. I'm going to keep my, my other answer to myself. Zendaya. Okay. Yeah. I love that.